The Mariana Trench is the deepest depression on Earth, located on the bottom of the Pacific Ocean at a depth of nearly 11 kilometers below sea level. Despite several dives, it remains one of the most unexplored places on Earth, where new species of creatures are still being discovered. Before I start, I want to tell you about my new channel Wisioner Interesting, in which I talk about interesting facts and events. I put the link to the channel in the video description, as well as in the top right corner. So, let's continue. One of the most unusual inhabitants is the barrel eye, a fish that has developed unusual features that allow it to catch even the dimmest light. The fish is 10 to 15 centimeters in size and has a transparent head with a colorless liquid that allows you to see the internal structure. The fish's eyes are large and cylindrical, bright green in color, which can rotate, allowing it to see well in near total darkness. The fish has long been considered unsteady because of the pressure differential when it rises to the surface, causing its transparent head to burst. The bizarre-looking goblin shark gets its name from its long beak-like snout and pink, translucent skin. It lives at a depth of 900 meters and is only rarely found in coastal waters. Little is known about these creatures, only 45 specimens have been caught and washed ashore. Aphiurus, or snake tails, are a stratum of marine animals that get their name from their peculiar way of movement crawling along the bottom with their wriggling rays. It lives at depths of up to 8,000 meters and burrows into the ground. They move jerkily, extending two pairs of arms forward and bending them sharply backward as they feed. In this cluster of branches, the arms of the Aphiurus rise almost vertically upward. Small animals such as worms, crustaceans, jellyfish, and plankton get stuck in them or are actively captured. Aphiurus have developed the ability to regenerate rays, but if you cut off all the rays from the disc, the animal will die. The pufferfish has a very formidable appearance, huge teeth, scary muzzle, and slippery skin without scales. Since the pufferfish lives at depths of up to four and a half thousand meters, where there is almost no light, it has to be a light bulb itself. On its small 15 centimeters body, there are bioluminescent organs, which the pufferfish uses to communicate with other fish for protection and as bait. It has a glowing thickening at the end of its antennae, which small fish mistake for prey and, as a result, fall into the voracious maelstrom themselves. Some members of this family glow red, an unusual color for deep-sea dwellers, and it is assumed that they highlight their prey before attacking. When grasping large prey, in order to ensure that the mouth opens wide enough and the huge teeth do not interfere with this, the head tilts upward and backward. This is possible due to the flexible connection of many bones. The lower jaw extends forward and downward, and the angle between it and the upper jaw reaches about 110 degrees. In contrast, the heart and the large blood vessels that branch from it are pulled back as far as possible from the victim so that she cannot injure them with her huge teeth. The victim is held firmly in the mouth, and when the jaws closed, they cut into the throat and esophagus. Deep sea fish anglers, who live at a depth of about two or three kilometers, using the same technology to catch food as echinoderms. Their mouths lure their prey with a glowing ball. Only the fish fish has a whisker, the rod is on its forehead, and the fish can adjust the frequency and brightness of the flashes, thereby controlling the effect. The females of this fish do not exceed 20 centimeters in length, the males are much smaller, only two and a half centimeters. Catfish are extremely voracious, they swallow anything that can fit in their mouths, but the problem is that the esophagus is much smaller than the mouth, so the fish cannot swallow too big prey. But it's also impossible to spit out the fish they've caught because their teeth prevent them from doing so. Therefore, this unfortunate dinner often becomes the last in the life of a deep sea surgeon, and they reproduce in a very unusual way. The male sticks to his mate and literally merges with her. His fins, teeth, eyes, and some internal organs dissolve, and all that remains is a supply of sperm, with which, at the right moment, the female fertilizes the eggs. Grimpathutis, aka damselfish octopus, is a very peculiar octopus. Its size is small, about 20 centimeters. It lives at depths of up to 5,000 meters. 
The octopus got its nickname from the elephant Dumbo, the famous cartoon knife. The octopus has a pair of long and equally weighted fins that resemble ears. The animal's individual tentacles are connected by a flexible and thin membrane called an umbrella, which, along with the fins, serves as the octopus's main drive. Thus, the dam octopus moves like a jellyfish, pushing out water. Despite its size, this octopus is a formidable predator. Unlike most other cephalopod mollusks, it does not open its prey with its jaws like a beak, but swallows worms and crustaceans whole. Amphitritus pelagicus is the world's only octopus with telescopic eyes. This 9 cm octopus leads a measured life, feeding on deep-sea plankton. Amphitritus is almost completely transparent, and its eight tentacles are connected by thin threads, like a spider's web. But the most amazing thing about this clam is its eyes, which are not round, but elongated, like little spyglasses, and can rotate around their axis. The steel standard eye organs give the octopus a wide field of vision and allow it to see in the darkness that reigns at depth. Unlike its more conventional counterparts, this octopus does not move horizontally, but vertically descends to a depth of about 2,000 meters. Jellyfish, unique in its kind, unlike its brethren who live closer to the surface, it prefers to live at depths of 800 meters and likes to stay on the bottom. Its size is 3 centimeters with 1,500 long, thin tentacles all over its body. It is these legs that help Bendigoda to move in the water column. It feeds on small crustaceans and single-celled organisms, and because the food that Bendigoda feeds on is often bioluminescent, which means it glows in the dark sea, biologists believe that the opaque red coloration serves to hide this glow. If Bendigoda were transparent like other jellyfish, this species could be easily detected by larger predators. The axe fish got its name for its distinctive appearance. Its body resembles an axe with a narrow tail and a wide body. The axe fish is found at a depth of about 2 kilometers, but can swim up to 300 to 500 meters from the surface. Its body is strongly compressed from the sides and covered with light silvery scales that bounce off easily. Some species grow to a small size, with a body length of only 5 centimeters. Like other deep sea fish, hatchery fish have photophores that emit light, but unlike other fish, hatchery fish use their bioluminescence ability not to attract victims, but to camouflage. The photophores are located only on the belly of the fish, and their glow makes incubators invisible from below, as if dissolving the silhouette of the fish against the background of sunlight penetrating to the depth. The intensity of the incubator's glow is regulated depending on the brightness of the upper layers of water, which is controlled by the eyes. It feeds on small crustaceans. This beauty is called a crested worm, a sea worm of the gut breathing class. It lives on the seafloor at a depth of 4,000 meters. Its name from Latin translates as eating bones, otherwise it cannot be called a crested worm, aka Ostax. In fact, it gets its food from the bones of dead marine animals, particularly the bones of whales. The worms secrete acid, which corrodes the outside of the skeleton and allows the ostax to reach the brain. Then the symbiotic bacteria come into play, recycling the proteins and fats in the worm's food. A female ostax can grow up to 5 to 7 centimeters in length, while the male is only a few millimeters long. The female collects entire harems containing broods and eggs on her body. Every day, females incubate several hundred of these eggs. More advanced technology has given us the opportunity to look into the bottomless abyss of the Mariana Trench, but to this day this place remains one of the most unexplored corners of our planet. Its inhabitants carefully guard its secrets, being as unreachable as deep space and certainly unattainable. So, don't forget to like it. Let's get at least 1,000 likes. Of course, subscribe to the channel.